हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल सांगली इंडिया एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एल इंजेक्टर प्लान बी लेट सी हाउ द केस प्रोसीड्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्लान फॉर द सर्जरी विच हैज़ अ हाई माइओपिया सॉफ्ट कैटरैक्ट आई एम प्लानिंग अड ऑफ आई ओ एल विच इज़ अ सेमी प्री लोडेड आई ओ एल एंड आई स्टार्ट ऑफ द केस विथ सम मैकेनिकल चॉपिंग हियर इट्स अ सॉफ्ट कैटरैक्ट सो आई एम यूजिंग पटवर्धन हाईब्रिड चॉपर फॉर डूइंग द मैकेनिकल चॉप्स हियर and the case is going as per the plan here the part of feco emulsification is quite uneventful not any major events noted during the procedure and i proceed with the cortex aspiration this is a elderly lady with high myopia and i have planned a extended depth iol here of nine diopters for eyes with axial length more than 26 mm and with a large size of the bag i generally put a capsular tension ring and this helps in good centration of the eye oil in the long term as well as i find that the refractive error is minimal and more predictable it stretches both the anterior and posterior capsule and makes the eye snugly fit in the bag and when it comes to eye insertion my assistant announced that he could not find the right injector which comes with the eye oil so this is a semi preloaded eye oil and i had just have to insert this cartridge into the injector and inject but now i have to open it i have to make sure that the orientation of the eye is correct so the trailing haptic and the leading haptic the holes have to be properly seen and here my assistant has given me a different cartridge this is a c cartridge of alcon which we generally use for hydrophobic eye oil now the leading haptic the hole should be on the left side many times when we don't use the same cartridge for the iol or the same injector system the iol may rotate in between i would have chosen another cartridge which i generally use for hydrophilic iols but even this will do i have used it few times before and here goes the injection i just have to maintain the leading haptic the hole should be on the left and i achieve that comfortably and also while injecting the cartridge you must have seen that i was observing the plunger that it should be pushing the eye well and it should not go over the optic of the eye well and that should be carefully looked into i am sure you must have also come across these issues when you are operating and many times we have issues with the injectors cartridge sometimes they don't work well and we may have to use a different eye injector or cartridge so do share your cases with me this is my youtube channel do subscribe and like the videos as well as you can send your nice cases surgical videos to fecotraining.org.in which is our teaching platform thank you so much